cameras. <coughs> What a mess. All these empty buildings with graffiti on them. I mean, that's artistic. That's just a f***ing you know, eye, so... Those look uh, empty up there. Hard to get to. Um, my idea to get in here was, um, can't do it in the daytime, ladder round, and provided uh, the cameras can't see you. Uh, you could probably get in through one of those windows and uh, there's, there's this but this gets complicated <laughs> right i don't think there's many cameras here but it's just so f***ing high all right so there's a complicated way to do it but it, it's uh will it work or will it not you can get up there, but it's too high for my ladder. So how do you do it? Right. I'll show you what I think you have to do. Um. I don't think there are cameras here. So if you made a load of noise, you could rip things off. But, you know, maybe there are cameras, maybe people hear you. Um, some of these a bit further down are flat. You're okay here, but it has to be done at night and you have to have people on watch because then you can walk away. Yeah. But all of this is apparently, all of this is Debenhams and it's something to do with uh, the loading bays and shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's quite a famous uh, artist. I think I met him. Somebody said that was the artist. Really? Yeah, but uh, a lot of this is flat. Yeah. I love all the, so you can make out you play around your like I love all this graffiti, it's brilliant, yeah? So the trouble is all these, are, all, all these just thing, you know, uh, they're quite solid. They've got bars, so everywhere that you can see is made to look uh, tough. But it's the bits you can't see that are the weak spots. Yeah. That's easy to get under. And this is part, this is part of the back of um, Debenhams uh, and a couple of other buildings, but yeah, it is a f***ing shithole. Um, you can get a ladder up there and then you get on the roof. The roof's dangerous, but there are a few little holes and bits and pieces. Um, so with the drone, hmm? yeah. With, with the drone, I was able to work out, I was able to work out you can get up there, along the there. Open. Yeah, but that's high. Um, you can get along there, and on this side of the building, that white building there, there are a few windows that look like they And that, that is some sort of uh, boiler house. So you can work your way down, provided they haven't sealed you know, the building you can get in. So, um, these are garages and it's, you can't really get through. But uh, if you walk around, this looks like it's the, uh, uh, you've got to go all the way around. It's quite a long way around. So you've got to be careful with those. Um, and they are nosy neighbours and they do come watching on here and on the other street. Uh, yeah, you can, if you can get through there, I think that goes dead end. Goes dead end. But if we go round this onto the main street, 
that's the main um, reversing area for Debenhams. That became dis disused, if, even though it is a loading area, they never used it. But the, the one they did use, big palisade fencing, so how the f you get across there? Uh, it makes noise. Yeah. yeah. But if you can get across it, oh, the, there's, these buildings are all uh, f***ed as well. But I think um, I think they're doing them up. I did say to Pompey, like, we should do these. And he's like, oh, yeah, but they're all f***ed. I was like, well, it's a video. Um, they might actually, uh, I'm not seeing any lights on, but they might actually have done them by now. Very quiet, I must say. They look a bit empty. Ah. Could be a fake like left on to uh, deter people. I mean, uh, Some might be let, but not all. They were working on it, but it, it's a bit of a shithole, so I think some of it's probably empty. Uh, this is new, because it did have scaffolding, and now they've got that posh. Up, but I don't think anyone's living in it yet. Mm. And it could be offices as opposed to residential. Look how big it is. Mm. Look at the fing size of that. And look, it's called Harris as well, which is a usual giveaway, they're not using it yet. Pompey said parts of this were uh, left for a very long time and uh, only recently it's been done up but it's been done up but maybe it's too expensive to rent or they haven't started renting it yet but uh, it's probably alarmed and empty posh rooms not a lot of character when they're all ready to go Yeah. Now here's the thing. This street has some very poncy houses down this side and quite a lot of flats down this side. Um, so they overlook the palisade fencing um, area for the back of Debenhams and that you can see is the best way in. Because if you can quietly get in there with a ladder, you can get on one roof, then you can get on the next roof, then you can get on the next roof and then you can get all across the top of Debenhams and there's a good likelihood you can use a ladder to get through a skylight down and in um, but I've not tried it because uh, the palisade fencing but there has big flats there and the, and they leave their wi they, leave, they leave their curtains open watching television and they can go look at them pricks down there ring ring mm. So how you can get in there without causing a fuss. Ah, but uh, Pompey said um, builders are in there now. So you come at daytime, high vis, walk in, wait till the builders go or do something and you're already in. But these people up here are bell ends. Oh look, they got, uh, these weren't there before. You can climb over the side there, but uh, it's not—it's not that easy. 
This um, used to be see-through. So. get in there in the day when it's open, um, provided no response you, you look like they're part of them. Yeah, so all this is kind of bomb proof. So the, the again, second option is ladder on, walk along here and see if you can get in on top. But uh, very hard to do in the daytime. Um, people will see you. At night time you can get up there and hang around um, but those windows are fairly sealed um, and it's too tall to get up. However, where the palisade is in there it starts going up in steps mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can go across and up a ladder and then you're on the master roof and there's so many vents and uh, skylights and things like that. It, it, I always thought that's the way you do it. So there obviously is a main door, but it's probably well padlocked. So this thing down here, I don't know how that got to be the way it is. I did take the sleeping bag out of the car though. They weren't there earlier on. So that's, uh, that's like be pissed now. Piss ups. Yeah. <laughs> 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 out. Boys, well, I hope up.
Mrs. who's a crackhead is offended by really well, you better stick up for her what's that man mate I don't want no fucking trouble man alright mate fair shout I'm sorry I didn't realise I just Mate, I'm walking away, man. All right, sorry, man. Please, please. Morning, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we'll get rid of them now. Police emergency? Oh, hi. Um, I'm just in uh, Portsmouth at uh, the old Debenhams that's closed down. Uh, we, were walking, yeah. we were walking past and uh, um, yeah. three, three people saw me. Uh, they looked like they were homeless. One of them started following me. And he's putting his hand in his uh, in his trousers as if he's got a knife. So in one it. of them put it doing what, sorry? Uh, one of them put his hand in his trousers like he's got a knife, and he goes, "I'll f take your head off." So uh, they're a bit aggressive. Um, there's three of them there now. They've got a a dog as well, like a a pit bull, and they're standing under the cover of the the building. We've walked away. I said, "Look, mate, I don't want no trouble." And he was just coming at me, and he was going like, "I'll f and come and get you and take you." Head off, and you misses now. I'm like, mate, we're going. I'm just. I don't How know. many people are they? Three there's, people, did you say? There's three of them, and. Uh, so three of them. Twenty minutes later. Wow. Um. Well, in the meantime, we can uh, kill a bit of time by going over and seeing whether the old. Uh, What's it called? Um, Grosvenor is yeah. hope. Yeah, so we'll have a quick look at that. Wow, I've got a swipe with <laughs> I know how to deal with bullies. Nah, he's just showing off in front of his friends. He's the big man. You know, he's well, presenting. He's presenting. Was gobbing at you, shouting at you. Mm. And then 
Yeah, yeah but when you start pretending, when when, when you start pretending you've got a knife, and that it's your territory, uh, have a word with the police. They'll take your details, and uh, they'll know who the gangsters are now, won't they? You little pricks. I mean, I don't have much. I don't have problems with homeless, but uh, when their when their yeah, attitude they is like somewhere though, they didn't look like they'd been homeless long. Yeah. Far too clean. They might have been the local drug dealers, so they're giving it all the don't come near me because you know we're hard. Don't try and nick our drugs. Twelve o'clock midnight.
meanwhile. Yeah, 
she's she's through there. Watch we don't watch you don't watch you don't go on watch you don't kick the uh, fire extinguisher. a radio controlled one because it's not permanently fixed so it may be working it may not be some of them light up and some of them don't um, just wait and see this place has been here for ages that might be old oh we haven't, we haven't broken anything i've got it all film right so places alarms could be yeah that could be one but it's very old and the new builders ain't going to pay to get that in because they're going, oh, we'll be, we'll be finished so quick. Why are we going to pay for all these alarms? Um, but where do they normally have them? They have them in the main entrances, the main exits, and ground floor. Mm -hmm. Because that's where they think everyone's going to come in. Where's the stairs? So let's get upstairs, work our way down. Less chance of uh, setting off the alarms. There's another one. Look, look, look. left oops huh oh, oh yeah right. yeah they're connecting to that that is the device that they're connecting to but they're always on the ground floor oh basement to the security firm but sometimes they just bullshit and they just scream and shout it's usually you have to scare people off that's that lean yeah it's usually bollocks and, and say for instance he only goes off once maybe he doesn't call the police hmm? don't know if that's going to go to the police though. Hmm? Yeah, they're busy aren't they? Let's just move quickly then. Yeah, they, it's quite uh, actively, quite actively alarmed, this place. to the, um, the police because that costs money and also to be connected to the uh, security company costs money what doesn't cost money is to set up a load of alarms and just have it going we well, have called the police and they haven't it costs loads of money mm. it's got an old building smell yeah safe Just ignore it. They come in, we just go, well, we just went under that, that fence. And 
and then invariably say, you did that. And we'll say, well, we'll show you the footage now of how it was there. That's just reverberation from downstairs. Double arms. That's not loud. That's not loud, loud outside the building. It's only loud inside the building. So, uh, yeah, it's fifty-fifty if it's going to call the police or not. Um, and we might be able to get out before the there it's gone off now. It gives up. See, the false alarms, pigeons, right? It, it'll go off. Oi, that's an old one. It'll go off once. Right? But if it goes off again, then it might call them. And then if it goes off three times, it probably just continually stays alarming and shit. But it's still, it's still going to take him time to get here. Either the police won't, won't be interested. Oh, yeah. The police won't be interested or the security company uh, are going to take an hour to get here. And we know the way out, and they don't know how we got in. So we have an advantage. I like the stairs. Folks, that's where uh, the bell ends were right down there. No, no, there is no bell ends down there. I hope they don't, but um, well, there's alarms here, so they keep on getting kicked out or freaked out as a possibility. But they would probably learn just to ignore the alarms. That's an alarm cover off one anyway. Have you ever been in here when it was open? Lightning flash then? Did you see it? Yes. It's gone quiet out there now. Oh, I did tell. I'd say I'd tell one or two people over here. They ain't going to come out to this time in the morning. Um, we don't have to worry about that building because it's uh, empty. Cafeteria.
an abandoned build that's an abandoned building over there so they can't see us with the torches but there were chams out there earlier on uh, one of them who threatened that he had a knife by putting his hand down his pants and he was like I'll oh, cut both of you up and it's like uh, yeah no worries mate yeah no I don't want, I don't want trouble so I went down the road and f***ing called the police and, and waited till he came to clear the f***ers off I got it on Bob Lob as well. They were sort of around the side, but there were a few of them. They looked like they were homeless, but they also looked like they were drug dealers waiting for pickups pick up us and drops off. And, and that's why they either wanted us there to buy drugs or to fuck off so they can just get on with their business. And uh, yeah. that's fair enough, you know. I don't mind you doing business, but if you're going to get all like my hood, I'll kill you, I've got a knife. Well, police need to have a check and see if you've got a knife on you, mother. Insecto, insecto cuta. <laughs> Jordan would be what? mental right now, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's good. Big old, big old kitchen. Yeah, what, what was this building for? Debenhams is like a department store, like John Lewis and... Um, no. Bigger than Woolworths, it's like... Um, uh, it, it's not uh, cheap stuff as well. They have like massive ranges of furniture, carpets, um, clothing, r restaurants. You know, it's all like it's meant to be like your upper crusty type stuff. But Debenhams was the low end of that sort of thing. You had Howells, yeah, right. Jollies, Dingles. They were the bit of the posh ones. Ha Harrods is very posh. Uh, Debenhams was kind of like an affordable, affordable one. What? Oh yeah. Well, well, yeah. well spotted. Well spotted, yeah. So yeah, we just uh You're right. it's sitting there, those machines are working pretty little back in. Yeah man. They'd probably be alright. All the alarms are on the ground all the alarms are on the ground floor. And on the stairwells so a couple of them went off but we just don't know if they're actually calling the police plus also it would take the police ages to get in here um, and it would take security ages to get here so I just say we'll just carry on until uh, we see something happening and then we'll, uh, we'll make our escape but Been in there and smashed the place up yet? No, which is, uh, I think people, oh, it's back into there. I think people have been in here, but um, they did have security for a long time. Um, but now they've decided, yeah. they've just finally decided to do it up. Um, they've got uh, builders in, change the security, which means no security, or what was left of the security and the alarms is not <coughs> administered anymore. So, uh, yeah. You know, it's one of those ones that shouts at you, but you just don't know if it's connecting to anything or, or not. Hmm. Yeah. I've been trying to f catch the video, and uh, so far it's like, what, now it's four pieces that I've got to put back together uh, in an editor. Uh, it won't take me long. But yeah, I keep getting phone calls. <laughs> so, Interrupting you. Uh, the recording interrupted. Yeah. But uh, that's a, we'll get it done, so. Yeah, he does mention you. Like he says, he's not saying any names, not most any names. <laughs> and then I think he mentions you about by name about four times. Mm. But he's more or less. He, he's sorry, he fucked up. He, don't take him seriously. He's an idiot. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The police he, have been around. Yeah, the police have been around. So he's, right. so he's had to apologise, but he'll do it again, yeah. and and he'll play on his fucking dis a, disabilities that he can't help himself doing it because he's so stupid. And uh, yeah. yeah. So, and, and he can't, he obviously, that he, he doesn't control and he'll, he'll do it again. He knows he's going to do it again. He just can't control it. And, uh, well, they, yeah. build, they build a profile on him one day. Oops, better turn that off because there's uh, flats over there. Oops, watch yourself. 
Um, and if we can get in over there, that's really old Victorian bits down there. Let me show you this shit here. This, oh, I can't do it. Anyway, it's kind of over there. That's flats, but that's Victorian bits of this building. Um, where's the Spinnaker Tower look in the distance? Spinnaker Tower for Portsmouth. Can you see it? Oh, it's not focusing. Oh well. Oh my god, the light is on. No, oh hang on. Out of Yeah. Has been f***ing with it. Hmm. Well, I'm sweating my balls off here. Um, I'm probably going to put this phone down so I can concentrate on uh, filming with the uh, with the thing. Um, but uh, just I'll show you we're in here. And uh, it's a classic old department store like here. Yeah. Lots of wooden door wooden doors and. Oops, what's that? Does it have a basement? No, it's some noise. Oh. Thunder and lightning. Oh, it's okay. I thought it might have been a roller shutter. Can you see anything? What's going on? Hello? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, can. Oh, I can't yeah. see you, right. Um, yeah, those houses over there are the worst ones. We've tried to come in here before, but because of those pricks. You see this big old building, and it goes all the way that way, and it goes to a basement as well, and it goes to buildings behind. Anyway, I'm sweating my tits off, so I, I'm gonna um, probably. And I just wanna, do you want to hold it for you? You, if you hold that, it's always cheeky out on a sec. I need to get my coat off, otherwise I'm gonna start wilting. Yeah, I just want to show you the lane, but... Mm. This looks like those old doors, which might have been some of those uh, ladders I was telling you about. You go ding, 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 and you come up, and you go up onto the roof. Um, I don't think they use those, they're using those radio ones. up the top of flats. Uh, I got a feeling that's the stairs for the flats. Oh, you can see it there, yes, the stairs. And it becomes flats on top of all the shops. And yeah, basically this was a bugger to get to. I think this was hard because that's the lane. But that's where all the graffiti is. Hang on a second. Don't let this long. Yeah. Down there is all the graffiti, so it's a graffiti alley. But it's too big to climb up here with a ladder. But if you can get up here, then you've got a stairs, but that's that needs a big ladder to get on the top. So uh, yeah. But there is a different there's one more way to get to the roof. Hmm. Yeah. They delay 
away for a while and they see if they go off so many times then they start shouting and then they stop for a bit and if it goes off again then it shout, 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 then calls the police. This is going to be interesting. Uh, we might lose you if we go down here. Um, because it's the basement. <sighs> Smelly. It's minging, but I just always get a bit worried about electric down in places like this. Service. What? What? It'll only let you open it on the floor that's got the, the lift on that floor, unless you've got a key for the lift. Oh, look at that. Somebody's new, somebody's uh, oh, 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 do that. Yes. Oh, shit. We might not be alone. It sounded like a banging sound. He's um, gone. He's gone, right? Yeah. I'll put that back in my pocket. Put your phone on uh, vibrate. Because they have a habit of going off when the security are looking for you. Probably vibrate if, uh, if you can, but. It's in the car. Oh, is it? <laughs> Something big, but it could have been wind. Interesting. Hmm. Ah, Chris Andrea. Oh, this is a Cheers. I was rather keen to do it now because it's fucking not too hot. Yeah, it's a good point. I thought that was a door going like, um, yeah, a sliding door or something going boom. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, it's the back rooms. We are trapped in the back rooms, folks. Pigeon noise. It's very clean, there's not much pigeon shit in here. Mmm.
Ooh, there's electric in here. Why am I bothering to do this? I did I to get drier eventually down here. I think it gets drier. It goes uphill. Holdings and returns. Oh. Does it get um, better towards the edges of the walls? Balls. Need wellies really, but... Or you just don't give a shit. I don't like wet feet though. I mean, if I could just light it up for you folks, I think... I don't think you're going to need us to uh, really go across there just for the hell of it. Mm. The possibility, possibility if um, we went around there might be a stairs up, but you never know. I'm just trying to work out does it get deeper. Film, yeah. Dust. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, bollocks. My, my trousers are now wet as well. Well, there's another way we could do it as well. Is don't walk across there, go back up, see if we can find the way over there and come down and just go, well there we are, we're on the other side now. There it is. Oh. It's a walk of shame, isn't it? Deeper. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Fire exit, it says there, over in the corner, so there's a the stairs or something, but. Up or oh, what's this? Did we come in? We came in for it up there, didn't we? Oh, there's a bloody floor plan there. melts and when it melts um, 
it allows the um, this little thing to drop when that drops or is it that drops or this goes ping up then which allows the water to go boosh and it hits this little spray thing which then sprays it in all directions so if you wanted oh it's vibrating again I'll put it on 2k board it over Thunder and lightning. So that means they, they they expect people to come in through there and get stuck here. Which is that's a bus. Which is bullshit because you go into the basement and you come out and you go up there and you come out. But whatever. There's the um, there's a little alarm thing there. Can you see it? That blue thing yeah. that picks up all the radio signals from the uh, the little um, the little things, and then it goes off and tries to scare you. Huh. Oh my God! Oh, you go up. Oh look look look. Half of them probably don't work, but some do. safety glass like you should get in schools and stuff. I can see you know it's hard deck I mean you can't you can't fault the oops sorry you can't fault the, uh, the scale of it and the majesty but then then they go and use, yeah, tacky school, like you had in school, or, I don't know, police station, or something. Yeah, yeah their master plan is, oh, we've seen this, haven't we? Yes. Their master plan is that if they close the front door, then you can't go anywhere. But you can, you can go everywhere. Do you want to try the roof? I don't want to be in the rain, but I'll just look out and... This building is not very big. Folks, Portsmouth. This building would have been, uh, you know, part of what would have been classed as the generated, you know, exciting part of uh, town because, like, oh, Debenhams! But as time went on, it just became 
more of a kind of cheap embarrassment type sort of thing and yeah you know, it was cheap clothes is good but people just didn't really go there it was more of a brand though wasn't it it wasn't Oops, so that easy. It's uh, asbestos. I mean, I, I personally like these sorts of looks because it's um, wood, oak, polished. Don't like the don't like the um, safety glass. Love the stairs because they're very majestic and all that. Um, whereas new places, a lot of them are just like tight little white, white. There's nothing to them. It's all stone floors in uh, a lot of department buildings now. They some some places they reinforce the floors, but uh, they, they just feel like they're thrown together. The walls are plaster, and uh, the floors are kind of yeah. So. Hmm? In a new building, it's all plaster, it's all smashes. And yeah, it's cheap. It's cheap, but there's an added bonus because you keep having to get the bloody workmen to come and put replaster it, repaint it all the time. So it's like it's like buying inkjet bloody printers and having to buy ink all the time. If you pay more money for your building and make it out of stone like this, it lasts forever. And and it doesn't do anything wrong when you do that. What, what, what? Hmm? I don't pay Jen. Oh. I don't pay Jen. What are you doing? You don't care. Mm -hmm. Why is the pigeons not in here? Like there's a... Uh, Easy way from to get in and out. See, so they've they've somebody's come somebody's used this way to get in. Oh yeah. But somebody's come in here, which means there is a way to get onto the roof. Now I, I always thought you could you could drop down through these um what you call it, glass viewing blah blah, whatever they are, or like lift shafts like that and things. I thought, oh, you might be able to do it, but you might need a ladder or over there, you know. Um, if it turns out, oh, it's just a bit stiff. Isn't that, that's, that's open over there, looks blown in the wind. See, so it's a bugger to get up here. It is like a maze. That place which showed you earlier on that goes to the lane is... Mm. That won't last as long and will require continual things. Yeah, but it keeps them in business. It's cheap, but it keeps them coming back and back and back to keep it going. Mm. Yeah, it's a it's a pain in the arse rain, but it means you can get away with loads because nobody wants to be out the rain and it masks your uh, little accidents uh, kicking around and falling off walls and all that. But yeah, good old view. Even better if uh, oh, there's a spinnaker over there. Look, it's just yeah, in the just thing. Mm. So this is a classic building. It's been here for ages. It's Art Deco. Um, they want to get rid of the, the, the things that make it good, like having the, the glass, the glass, um, glass effects. And they're all like, no, we're flattening it off. Everything must be flat, white. Everything flat, white, plasterboard walls, suspended ceilings with the wires in that then will fall through. And we're, we're cooking with gas. Oh, I wish I had my umbrella. 
Oh, you take off like Mary Bloody Poppins. <laughs> Whoops. Look at this. Yeah, you don't want to step on these. <laughs> you might go you might well go through. Off the old uh, rain. Oh, look at this. Ah. Oh, it's just a fan. Okay, cool. I thought it was a lift, lift shaft. Oh, yeah. This is the, um, whoops. This is the uh, place I showed you earlier on. We've got uh, that fire exit and there's the stairs. But it's a, it's a bit of a beast to get up here. You know, you could get a ladder up here and then whoosh the whole the whole thing's yours but I got a funny feeling that's the better way because see there's a ladder there and what you do is you work your way up from the back up to level one up to level two up to level three up onto this level and then whoosh the whole place is yours and people have obviously done that in the past but we uh, we were just lucky because somebody had uh... there it is look at that <laughs> Lift room? Probably lift room, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very clean, very nice. Just gonna be making sure that nobody's booby trapped these. Don't step on them because they might have booby trapped them, so you all step on them, and that is the lift shaft, by the way. Ah. Shafts. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the governor. Tells it which floor it's on. Fuses. <laughs> fuses, fuses. Uh, right. Governor. That's the braking unit. That's the motor. And then that's the braking unit. In order for it to activate, it has to it has to go and release the brake um, electronically or or with one of these, or something like that, a lever, to kind of get that to go whoosh. And then, once it's free, you can wind the lift up or down using that lift, this thing. There's no point me doing it, but if you get the brake to release that side and that side, then you can actually manually operate the lift with that if the power's gone wrong. But you've seen it before. Um, just be careful of these things, folks. And there's the manual lift action. You've got to be a bit careful because there's a brake disc in there. Don't get your fingers in there. Um, if it's operational, this thing will go bang, bang. And that's that's the mechanism to stop it going too far. But in theory, if you can pull that out, which I can't, then it will freewheel, and you can you can get up and down. So usually there's a, a lever that gives you lever pressure, uh, and then that's it. That's just a relay to tell it when it, the brakes are on and off. So usually lying around there is a thing that plugs in somewhere and you go uh, on this side and uh, 
on that side, and it will, it'll, it'll allow you to freewheel the lift. She probably thinks I've gone and uh, abandoned her. Water. Yeah, gotta be a bit careful because they can see you quite well. So the best way to get across without being seen is on that side. See, it's not so uh, obvious. Hello. He's all right. Hey. We okay? It's the it's the lift rooms and things like that. Lift shafts. I see now I'm kind of using these to blank blank them from seeing me. Rainy now, which is good. Lift shaft or electrical bollocks. Because uh, this is actually one of the live lifts that's just been put out to service. It looks clean, old mechanism, but still kept alive. Ooh, interesting. We've got the spinner, but they've got a little uh, detector on it. Nope. There's the device to release the brakes. Don't know how it works, but you can see it's a lever and it it pops on two things and then you use the lever force to kind of to open that and then boop, 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 the lift will go up and down it's emergency brake uh, the lift is out of service so somebody who knows what this is which i don't nor do i really want to can just uh, oh shaft shaft lights You can get the lift up and down. I think we should get. I think we should bring her over. Come, coming over. Come down this way. Yeah. Yeah. Down, down this way. Down this way. Yeah, okay, well. Mm -hmm. Lights are working. There could be something underneath there. So that could be in stop mode. That could be in stop mode. Normally, Push it to kind of so that's the uh, it's probably the one working lift so somewhere is isolated I know one person who'd know or at least if he didn't know he'd keep pressing buttons until it, until it started up but I'm guessing it's there this is the uh, manual control Okay. 
Yes, baby. <laughs> and, and that's all. Ooh, fuck off. Oh, it's recalling it. It's recalling it to the top. Anyway. More, more than we needed. But yeah, it's still working. It is working. Right, that there is a um, another stairs. So I thought, considering we can go down a different way, it's worth having a look at. What's this so? A dome. People's houses, naughty, and the wanker houses, the, the uh, nosy bastards, but they look like houses, and they look like offices, and they're definitely houses with, with nosy neighbours. So probably time to go, because, uh, uh, I mean, if we had uh, high visits on, they'd probably think we were bloody security, but, uh, yeah. The other one is open. Why do you want something going up this one? It's like, don't come in the main hall. Oh, go on, then go upstairs and yeah, come in the main hall. You know, don't go in the basement. Oh, but yeah, just go around the side. You can go in the basement. I would say this is very half baked and weird. The security for this place. I don't get it. Do 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 do. No, I'm not gonna do that. Fifty-three. Um, if we if we leave it much longer, we'll be meeting the security or the workers coming in. But uh, the funny thing is, if we time it right, so they open the gates and uh, we go and grab our ladder, we just walk out with the ladder and they go, "What are you doing?" We say, "Oh, it's all right. We've uh, been in there all night. You know, we just waiting for you to open up, so we just have to climb over the fence and be like, hey, get the get the fuck up.' And be like, "Yeah, all right, mate. Bye." Mind you, it's a shame there's no uh, kick door to get out to the main street because then um, we wouldn't have to climb over the ladder. Oh, we have got to go underneath that thing, haven't we? We've got to shimmy. Okay. That's the kitchen. I think we came up that way, didn't we? Yeah, we went up that way. Uh, that wasn't doing that earlier on. That's the rain. We're starting to... It's good now it's uh, getting daylight because you can see the painted windows. So, was it worth it? I quite like it. It's um, it's run down, but it's big and it's uh, it's got a kind of style of its own. Mm. Yeah, 
I don't know what it is about uh, youngsters. You know, they want they want courtrooms to look like their department stores. And what used to be like courtrooms, which was wood and oak panelling and you know stone floors and blah blah blah. Um, they think it's a, it's like ghetto, but I think you know department stores that look like everything is a bit ghetto because it's so bloody cheap and they fall apart. Oh my god, it's coming. Well, we'd have to get in it, we can send it to another floor. Mm. It's a wayward Otis. We've got one, two, and ground. What do you want? Ground, because we're going down? We'll see if it comes out. Ground. See ya. Because of my torch, or is it because of... yeah, my torch is setting off the infrared. Ah, cool. Yeah, this is probably uh, staff areas, isn't it? Not for the public. So yeah, this is what I was thinking you needed to do. What? The bank vault, yeah. So if anybody wants to try this, um, this is how I was going to do it. Oh, we haven't seen those bits over there. How do you get to them? I was wondering if you can't get through here. Well, uh, or the basement. You know, we need to get back. Um, but that is the oldest part of all here. See the back of the building that, that goes to be the posh buildings? There's, there's silver silvered bits. Those they've forgotten about. These are falling apart. If you go over the back, it is literally... might be but it's probably this way I don't want to spend more than five ten minutes oh, ten minutes just rush this fucker but it's worth it because nobody's seen this stuff oh shutters look oh, but are they locked are they locked and if we go upstairs they probably oh, no, no. why we didn't go in there because uh, it didn't look like you could but this is, oh what's that camera old school speakers ah. it goes out to the uh, to those terraces we climb up. Oh look they've they've um oh locked some of them asbestos probably and they just can't be asked to pay the money to clean it up ah oh, pigeon you go 
got in, so if you can get in, surely anybody can get in. Hmm. Can't see. That's the, um, that is out there, the, uh, the shuttered bits before you get to the posh houses that join it. Right, there's the posh houses. Uh, these are their garages, and that's the old yard. But these bits here look like they're out in the ark. For with a drone, they look like um, they were really crazy. Oh, crazy old uh, um, boiler rooms and stuff. Oh yeah. Marble, fireplace, ah that's that, stair that's that staircase, so by here, um, if you go down the staircase and you look to your right, that's the new posh cream houses, so they're right in there, so those posh houses could have been made as posh as these, they could have carried on through into here and made some more money because the people are just on that, sleeping on the other side of there. Anyway, what, what do I know? What the, what the fuck do I know? Yeah, I've been in there. It's all square, it's usually not stone, it's made out of metal, and when you walk down it, it bounces and scares the shit out of you. And it goes up. Much, much more classy. Oh yeah, I think we, we came this way, didn't we? So we came round there. Um, <laughs> I mean, if we're really lucky, there'll be a door that opens to that yard, so we don't have to do a... Is that flooded? No. It's the basement, though. Um, so we'd have to do the... Uh, what should we call it? Um, squeeze. Oh, go on. Yeah. Just I know. In a corridor. Keep the corridor warm. Please be open. Please, 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 please. There's no bar there. Oh my god. Where'd you go? What? Don't let this don't let this close. No way! Jam something behind it. Hmm. Escape. Uh, yeah, probably, but just get some shit like this and just chuck it here. Right, uh, I just don't want to be uh, stuck. So, yeah, I want to let, let that go. Just make sure it stops. Yep. So, this is a uh, pigeon shit central. Uh, those things down there were part of the loading bays. So there was the, what, 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 what? Oh, we're back round to the bright place. That's nuts. But is there anywhere that's even easier than that? If we can get in somewhere like this. I'm not saying we, we can't do that, I'm just, you know, we can have a quick look at it. Oh, 
all up. It goes in, it goes in, it goes in, it goes in the ground. Stinks of uh, pigeon, pigeon poop. Uh, I see loading, loading bay. That's flooded. Mm, that's probably still in use. And uh, people have been coming in here. So if you, if you wanted to get in here, because let's face it, that is not that hard to push up. Then you can come in from the back side, which, as Jordan will tell you, is the best side to get in, is the back side. This is a bit over the top. There's bomb proof doors, blast proof doors. No way. B, C, D. Mm. Yeah, it feels like you want some waders or wellies, but they've given you. Obviously, underneath the uh, the car parking level. All right. More bomb-proof doors. Bomb-proof doors. Again. And again. So, is this a uh, air raid shelter? Fireworks. No smoking. Um, or maybe Debenhams used to sell fireworks, but I had to keep them in somewhere like this. But it probably was a. This is this is like wartime kind of uh, cheap stuff. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into this, but it could be a, a bomb shelter. So look, old-fashioned venting. And this is kind of World War Two type standard. Um, oh, bomb law. What's that corridor? First car, oh, look at the uh, vents up there. So, yeah, they're using it for storage of old, old crap that they'll never want to see again. There's the vent. Could have been civil defense. You're right. Could have been uh, civil defence, World War Two, um, nuclear fallout shelter re repurposed. What oh, you mean these? Oh, these things, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was a common practice, even though the, you know, with with electrics you can run cable, just cable. But because it was done in these bunkers, they always put them in pipes. And uh, yeah, the pipes do rust like that. But these, being anodized, don't rust so much. But the fittings often do, but those don't. Um, so yeah, that gives you an idea of the time scale. Because most places would use cable like that, but it won't last. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Escape, escape, escape hatch. Why would you have that? That goes into the car park and it's even open, but it might be concrete zip on top. That is not going to my way. <sighs> the 
this it will never this will never open god knows what's on top of there it could just be rusted big mallet you might get it going but yeah why would you have that if it wasn't a, a shelter uh, last corridor so this shelter was hidden underneath the Debenhams back car park and uh, I don't know if many people know it's here so Right, what do you reckon? We outstayed our welcome. Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry. the date on it 20 so it may not have a battery in it but it's been there for a long time so some of them are real and some are shit <laughs> if that had a uh, if it had a winch you might be able to get that up but doesn't seem to. That oops shit. That has a winch but it's been cut off. That's a bus. But it's got an electric um, motor up there, but again that's cut off. Ah. Oh. oh, what do we have here? It's not doing anything. That's the um, that's the little alarm thing that goes. We know you're in here. The police have been called. Whoop 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 whoop. And it's, it's just not powered up. So they're, not, they're really not doing it properly. So yeah, I think we could be in here for bloody uh, a week and a half, and they wouldn't we wouldn't have a clue. That's interesting because that one that one is moved out of position yeah. and somebody's probably done that on purpose because you can see those marks it's not e it's not easy to do that um and not that i've ever done it but it's not easy to do it because oh, yeah i just slipped on a on a roller Sorry. What, what, but this is easier to get out of if you can do it. Mm. So these have got these have got <coughs> dead locks. That's to hold the door in. I mean, if you wanted to get out in an emergency, you can release that and release that. This drops if you release that and release that, and the whole door just goes pew. Oh. that up oh look uh, yeah so there's no easy way out there's no easy way out you ready mm. 
Right. Hold up for a bit yet. Can I pass this to you? Uh, just put your hand over the top of it to stop again. Stop raining now, anyway. Can you see him? There we go, folks. This is him. Debenham's giving birth to Mr. Bob. Seen this. Oh, you got that? Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll uh, move it over. Use the little scroller to. There you go. Just to go down a bit here. Tidy. Can't go how tiny it is. we go, this is where we get to do the action man and action woman bit. Mm -hmm. You've just been up there. Mad, isn't it? <laughs> I've had footage of this for like a year, but I never put it out because I didn't want to give people uh, ideas before I did it. Two seconds then. Yeah. that in there. And pop that in there. Somehow. Oh, that way. I'm filming with that, but this is better. Right, they may see us. They're more likely to see us because they got more of an angle. Anyway, folks. Forget all this, go under the door, or, or, if you can manage it. Oh, 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 shit, I thought there was somebody there. I've got both spiral staircase. I don't know you'll, you'll jump it across, but you possibly. I'll go up the spiral staircase, ladder on the top, across, ladder down, across there. But to be honest, if you can do it, ladder up there, ladder up there, walk across, 
see that ladder up there go up on top of there across up a little bit more there's all the lift shafts and doors ways in and it's all yours so they'll seal that up see so anyway right do you want to go first or should i go first or uh, well, when you get yourself up uh, stand where the uh, satellite dish is So that it's wet. I'm not going to put that in there just yet. Bastards, they didn't manage to do anything. I don't think these people are any the wiser. And uh, that's it. That's it. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Turn.